Hi, good afternoon. This is Mike with Lakeshore RV, and today I want to congratulate Nancy on the purchase of her brand new 2022 Alpha Wolf 22SW. This will be an instruction video on how to use the camper. Okay, right up front, you got your power jack. This will raise and lower it. There's also a light on the front, so you can turn that light on and off here, and then the up down button's right next to it. Two 20 pound propane tanks, these are both full and ready to go. Um, there's some decorative cap lights on the front. On off switches there. And then you got a pa nice big pass through storage on this unit. Uh, here's your sewer hose. There's a, the trailer itself is 30 amps. If you don't have 30 amps, you could put this adapter on and plug it into the house. So you plug the cord into this, this goes right into the house. No AC, no microwave, but you can charge the battery up, run the fridge, run the slide out lights, things like that. And then you got your galley tank here. So you disconnect it like it is now, pull the handle out. That dumps the kitchen sink only. And then if you go back here, you got another black and gray. So if the gray is for the bathroom sink and shower, the rear one is black and that's for the toilet. So what you wanna do back here is because it has both black and gray, you wanna hook your hose up, pull the black first, dump it. Once it's completely dumped, you leave that handle open. You'll hook a hose up to here and let it run for a few minutes and that'll flush that tank out. <clears throat> Once you get done, shut the hose off, push the black valve in, you're all done with flushing it, so you can even disconnect that hose, pull the gray, and that'll rinse everything out for you. That's like the bathroom sink and shower water. 30 amp cord hooks up here. Right next to it, your water heater controls are inside, it runs off gas or electric, and I'll show you where those are at. Now, if you get in a situation where you do have water, you hook right up to the city water, and it runs off the pressure from the hose. Otherwise, if you don't have water, you stick a hose in there, fill that tank up, and you take all that water with you. There's a LED light outside, flip down travel rack in the back, backup camera um, monitor comes with. You'll download an app for your phone, and that'll work uh, right off Bluetooth. So one cool thing about the Alpha Wolf is you get a full-size awning, so it'll go from tip to tip. All right, moving on to the outside kitchen. So you got a couple grill um, stove top burners here. What you'll do is you'll take this hose, you'll quick connect it right there and there's a ball valve you turn on. So connect it, turn the ball valve on and as long as your propane tanks are on and they're filled, you'll get propane flow to these. Uh, refrigerator runs off electricity. You have an ice maker and you have an additional water connection here outside TV. So you can take the TV from inside, you can drop it in outside. You can watch TV outside if you like to do that. Now, as we come up into the door, um, right in the top left, I can see 110 water heater. So this is your water heater electric switch here. Right here, we got a Wi-Fi um, hot, hot spot. So there's something you can get that plugs into here and you can get a $15 monthly subscription for Wi-Fi. Solar panels working kicking out 13 and a half volts and then this will run your AC and furnace you got a fan cool high cool low that's continuously running and auto is going to be thermostat driven so low low and high auto and then you got heat so this one button will get you through all your features this will run you through different fan speeds and do your temperature okay uh, moving on to the monitor panel it's going to tell me how full the fresh tank is so it looks like it's two-thirds full uh, black's empty, both grays are empty, the battery shows full. Uh, interior lights, exterior lights, living room lights, pretty self-explanatory there. Now the water heater propane switch is here. So if you hit that, it should light automatically again, as long as the bottles are open and you have propane in there. Um, water pump is for the tank. So if you're hooked up to city water, runs right off the pressure from the hose. If you fill the fresh water tank, you um, use the pump and then the pump shuts off when the water shuts off. This will do your powered awning, extend and retract, and then the butt next to it will do your bump out in and out. So uh, as far as the toilet, you wanna drop chemicals in there. Um, it's gonna break the waste down. It'll break the toilet paper down and help with the odor. So you just step on the pedal and drop your chemicals right down in there. Uh, there is a ground fault here, so if you lose power to any of the outlets in the trailer, that's a great place to start. So I check that first. 
Otherwise, come right over here to the breaker box. So anything that runs off 110 has a breaker. So it's pretty simple. It goes from the power source to the breaker to the air conditioner to the outlets to the microwave. So anything that runs off 110 is, has a breaker. Anything that's converted from electricity to battery power, you have to slide out the furnace blower, the lights, the awning, all that runs off a fuse. It's 12 volt. And uh, if a fuse blows, a light will come on and let you know exactly which fuse is blown. So if you walk by and there's an orange light on, there's a, there's a fuse blowing somewhere. Okay, fireplace switches here so you can run the fireplace or microwave. So I need to turn this on, hit the power button, and then you can change uh, the lights. You can dim it, and then you can change the temperature in here. Or you can just have it ambiance. If you keep the thermostat down, you'll just get the ambiance. Here's your multimedia player. It's got inside, outside speakers. Zone one and two, zone one's inside, zone two's outside. So you can do inside, you can do both, or you can do just outside. Uh, TV mounts right there. There's a wood backer behind it. So you could mount, mount a TV there. Otherwise you got a great big walk-in pantry as well as hooks to hang your stuff up. And then here's your seats. They're heated, there's lights, and there's a massager. Uh, same thing on the other side. Uh, refrigerator is 12 volt, runs off the battery power. And again, if you're plugged in, doesn't matter. Uh, batteries continuously charging off the electricity. Keys are on the faucet. And then you got some USB chargers next to each side of the bed as well as outlets. Sink covers underneath here. Otherwise you can use it for storage. And if you have any questions, um, please give me a call. Uh, again, my number is 231-855-9998. Uh, and I want to thank Nancy again for purchasing from Lakeshore RV.